Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I will let you know that what are the different plugins we can use of ChatGPT in order to scrap the data from any web page. And uh, if these plugins are not able to scrap any kind of data, I'll let you know that how you can generate a script uh, in Node, Python, Puppeteer, Cheerio that you can use in your own code base to actually scrap the data from any web page. So first of all, I'll talk about a couple of plugins that I've already installed. One is the scrapper. I'll let you, I'll ask you to actually go ahead and uh, install it. And the second one is this CSV export plugin. Okay. So now uh, I will say hi to scrapper. Hi scrapper. Can you please check this web page and scrap the title and price of all the products shown on this web page? And uh, I'm going to give the link of this website, Porgies.com, which is an e commerce website for leather accessories in Pakistan. So these are all the products it has. So I'm going to copy the link and uh, give it to it and I'll hit enter and uh, it will automatically trigger the scrapper plugin of chat GPT four. You can see that uh, it has started using the scrapper and it should be able to start working on that. And uh, it has some built in. Now you can see that it is loading the titles and the price of all the products the first one is the this bifold grain pattern brown original leather bollard and uh, here you can see this is the title it has picked and this is the price it has picked <clears throat> so it is actually scrapping all the data so how quickly we can scrap the data using chat gpt right and uh, once it completes that i can ask it to actually convert this data in the form of table so let it complete it first so uh, can you convert this data in the form of a table so it's a part of the chat gpt first so it has triggered the csv export plugin uh, i didn't ask it but uh, sometimes it triggers the plugin so the csv export plugin actually uh, transform all the data that we try to export uh, or want to export uh, and it generates a dot csv file for that so let's see and it's actually loading if we click on this arrow and uh, you can see that it is uh, generating this file and this is actually a, a csv file and uh, we can actually download this csv file and it has provided us this link so if i click on it it has downloaded this file in the form of csv and it has converted this data in the form of table because i asked it to that's awesome and if i open this csv file let me show you over here and you can see that this is the csv file it has generated and we can also open it it's actually a excel file as well right so using these two plugins we can give the url of any web page uh, and uh, ask it to scrap the data and using csv export plugin to actually generate uh, it in the form of table and especially to ex uh, generate a link which we can click and it will download a csv file format right but there can be few websites uh, that are restricted that uh, stops bots to actually scraps the data from its uh, web pages just like uh, the amazon have a strong um, security system upon open uh, you you know that it's an nft website and it also stops bots in that scenario we cannot rely on these scrapper or any other plugins we actually need to write the scripts directly uh, in our code so i have already created a new uh, 
file index.js and I'll be writing a node.js code over here in order to generate the same data that I've just done over here. Okay, so uh, here I've already installed this puppeteer dependency plugin and I won't be writing anything inside it, but I will ask ChatGPT to write me a code of node puppeteer uh, plugin to actually scrap the title and the price of all the products from this page. Okay, and I'll also ask it to uh, write a code to export the same data into the CSV format. Okay, so uh, hi chat GPT, can you please write a script using node Puppeteer, you can use other packages as well, like the Python Scrappy to scrap the data or Node Cheerio uh, to scrap the data, but I prefer Puppeteer. So, um, can you please write a script using Node Puppeteer uh, that scrap the title and price of all the products? from this from given website and also write a code to export this data into CSV format. Okay, and again, I'll be giving it this link. So I have hit enter and uh, let's see what it does. It should uh, actually go ahead and start writing the script using Puppeteer. So uh, currently it has included uh, two packages. Uh, we don't need this package, but uh, though it has created this, we can actually use this, right? So it, it should go to this web page that I've given to it and uh, it's going to call this function and uh, it's going to get all the products which are on this page and it's going to get the title and the price of it. Currently, uh, this chat GPT cannot go inside the web page uh, to actually check these selectors are right or wrong. So we manually needs to go to the the web page and grab the right selectors from that web page. So first of all, let me copy this code and I'm going to paste it over here. And also I need to install that new plugin that it has added. So CSV writer, and this is the new plugin. So while it's installing, it's you can see in the package that this one is installed. Okay, so now, let me try to run this code and see what happens. So it's actually showing this warning, which we can ignore for now. So currently it is showing that cannot read properties of null. Uh, the reason is that it might not be able to select this selector. Okay. Uh, so I can ask it, please use the latest version of Puppeteer and scrap only the title of products. Okay, so it's going to rewrite the script and uh, let's see. So it's a bit nice. And uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to right click on this product inspect instead right click on the title and this is the title and i'm going to copy this class name first of all let's come here and copy this code go ahead replace it and then come here and copy this class name because this class name includes the title of this product. 
okay so here rather than giving it a product title i'm going to give it the actual class name right so now it's going to log the results before actually exporting it to the csv let's try to run this so you can ignore this warning and let's see if it logs the title of all the products all right so you can see that it has actually generated uh, using this small script it is just the 17 lines of code and uh, given us this array of all the titles okay and if i want to export it in the csv uh, i can ask the chat gpt so thanks for this can you also write a code to export this data in csv so again it has it is using this so i can actually utilize this csv writer plugin which i've already installed so i'm going to copy these lines and uh, i'm going to paste over here and then i think it has changed this this function call so which i can change over here okay so i'm going to save it and let's rerun the script and it should be able to generate this csv file and uh, it should create a new file over here along with the index.js all right so it uh, it gave the name of the file out.csv that's why it's generated so i click on it it is actually generating the title uh -huh. so it's not showing all the data so let's see what else it changed title inner text returned so if anything got changed so it's returning this data okay i don't want to use this new package don't use any package for exporting the data in csv I know that it can be done without using any so i've asked it so it is using the fs package which is the by default added in the node so now it's generating this data over here all right this is what i wanted and uh, we should be able to understand some coding in order to do these stuff okay so this is the scrap product I'm going to copy and uh, here I need to include the FS package. So I think that's pretty much it. So result is coming from this function. So let's save it. Let's rerun the script and uh, it should generate a new file. Uh, it's already added. So let's see if it generated out. So, okay. So now you can see that it has exported all the data in that csv file and uh, doing it without actually package is better because i knew it and this is how we can prompt a chat gpt to give you different codings um, and uh, different snippets of code for different stuff uh, in order to generate uh, the data scrap the data and export it in different files okay so uh, for single pages for small kind of data you can use these uh, scrapper plugins or uh, this uh, scsv export plugin but for any customization for uh, scrapping the data through navigations and uh, through any further complex uh, page layout uh, it's better to prompt chat gpt to write a code for you and you can copy paste the code in your scripts and start scrapping the data 
right so i hope that you have liked it if you have any question don't forget to comment below in this video and thank you so much for watching